All right, so in the last video we talked about operators, and in this video I want to go over type conversion. And type conversion essentially means turning a long into an int, or a float to a double. It's just changing types, these primitive data types, into other data types. But let's get started immediately by creating a dummy project. And we will start that by writing a print statement, which is gonna say, enter a number. And right under, we are going to write value number. And we are going to assign to it a read line expression, which is not null. This asserts that it is not null. We'll talk about that later. And we will write to int because read line uh, takes a string as an input. And we want to change that to an integer. And then we're going to copy these two once again. And we're going to add it right down here. We're going to write enter another number. And here we're going to write number two. And then we're going to write one more print statement. This is going to be called print line. And it's going to take our first number. So we're going to interpolate by adding this dollar sign. And it's going to take number plus number two. And that's going to equal, we're going to interpolate again, except this time that we're going to interpolate the entire expression. So we're going to add the dollar sign and the curly brackets. This is so everything inside these curly brackets is going to be read as an expression and it's not going to be converted into a string. So let's just write number plus number two. And if we click on play, you'll see it will ask you to enter number. So let's enter five and then let's enter another number, which is going to be seven. And it's going to tell you five plus seven equals 12. So that's a very simple way to convert a string into an int. But now this is probably where you will encounter most of your first errors. For example, if we enter the letter A, it's going to give you an exception that this number format exception, the input string cannot really be converted to an int because the letter A is not a number. And we will talk about exceptions later and how to handle them. But just keep that in mind that that is absolutely normal when you have user inputs to have users try to input the wrong data type. But let's just close that. And we will continue. So we will actually delete all of this because this was just for the example of how to convert a string into an integer. So let's try another example. We're going to do value number equals 1 million. And we're going to create a second value, which is going to be number 2. And this is going to be of type byte. And it's going to equal number 2 byte. This is just another error I wanted to show you that if you try to convert some number that is much bigger than a byte or you try to convert it to the wrong type, sometimes it will allow you to do that, but you will end up with weird results such as if we just print, if we just print number two, for example, and we click on play, you'll see that it will print 64. So it took this number million, it converted it to a byte, it did number two byte, and it gave you an output of 64. That's because it, the program didn't really know how to handle that since it was such a large number. And if you remember from our previous episode with uh, basic data types, bytes are quite small numbers and anything bigger than a byte will probably end up with an error. Even if we did, uh, let's say 200, you'll see you get this weird minus 56. So keep that in mind when you try to convert types that are not really that shouldn't really be converted to that other type because it doesn't logically make sense. But otherwise, we can do number two, or we can do uh, text number, which is going to take number, and it's gonna convert it to a string. This is perfectly fine. So when you do text number, it's gonna output a string, but that means you can't add numbers to it anymore because text number is gonna be a string and 12 is just gonna be 12. So when you print this statement, you're gonna get the text number 200 plus 12. And as you can see, it concatenates the two instead of adding 212, it printed the number 200. And it added 12 to it as an extra number. So keep that in mind that you can change number to anything you want, you can do to to int to short to long to big decimal, there are lots of kinds you can cast them to. And that is the basic way to change a number type and to convert it to another kind. But you will definitely see more of this in the future. This, these are just some very small examples of how to convert the type. We can actually do one very quick example, one more very quick example. We're going to write value total is going to be of type floats. And that's going to equal number plus 
text number. And what we can do is make this very complicated. The first thing we're going to do is turn this to a string. So now it's going to try to add a number to a string, which absolutely doesn't work if you want to get a float as a result. So we're going to write two floats here to simplify everything. And now when you print the value of total, you should get 400 as a float. So as you see there, it finally converted it to 400 and it turned it into a floating number. So you can see the decimal down there. And it's just an easy way to convert values that the program requires. As we required a float here, all we had to do is write text number to float. So what essentially happened was we have the value of number, which is an integer. We turn that number to a string and then we turn that string to a float. So that's a lot of converting and that is the basic concept of type conversion. And in the next video, we're going to go over expressions and comments and how to use them. But uh, thanks for watching this video. If it happened to be useful for you, please consider leaving a like. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.